Hello and welcome to the very first video of automation with Ansible AWX course by TechLatest.net tutorial. In this video we'll discuss the high level overview of Ansible. By the end of this video, you will have a basic understanding of What is Ansible? Ansible is designed around the some basic principles. We will see these principles. How Ansible works. There are different components of Ansible. We will briefly see them here and will cover them in detail in our upcoming videos. After this, we will discuss the use cases and what you can achieve with the Ansible automation. So let's get started. Ansible is a suite of software tools that enables infrastructure as code. It is open source and the suite includes software provisioning, configuration management, and application deployment functionality. Originally written by Michael Dehan and acquired by Red Hat in 2015, Ansible is designed to configure both Unix-like systems and Microsoft Windows. Ansible is a tool that helps you automate tasks on your computers or servers. It's like having a digital assistant that follows your instructions to set up, configure, or manage systems without you having to do everything manually. So, Ansible is like a smart messenger that delivers your commands to multiple computers and ensures they perform tasks consistently and efficiently, making it easier to manage and maintain your computer systems. As automation technology, Ansible is designed around the some basic principles. They are It is agentless. And what do I mean by agentless is, you don't need to install any software or agents on the target systems you want to manage. Instead, Ansible relies on SSH for Linux, Unix systems and WinRM for Windows systems to communicate and execute tasks remotely. It works by using a client-server architecture and a push-based model to automate tasks on remote machines. Simplicity and Ease of Use Ansible is known for its simplicity and ease of use. The syntax is straightforward and accessible to both beginners and experienced users. The learning curve is relatively shallow, allowing teams to quickly adopt and integrate Ansible into their workflows. Scalability and Flexibility Easily and quickly scale the systems you automate through a modular design that supports a large range of operating systems, cloud platforms, and network devices. Idempotence and Predictability one important concept in Ansible is eimpotency. Ansible ensures that if you run a playbook multiple times, it will have the same result as running it once. This means that Ansible checks the current state of the system and only makes changes if they are necessary. This simple principles makes the Ansible easy to understand and implement. Let's understand how it works using a simple explanation. Imagine you have three computers, and you want to make sure they all have the same software installed and configured in the same way. Without Ansible, you'd have to log in to each computer individually and do the same tasks over and over again. With Ansible, you can create a set of instructions, in the context of Ansible it's called, Playbooks, and tell Ansible to run those instructions on all three computers simultaneously. We provide the list of hosts in the inventory file. With three computers the job is easy to do manually as well. But imagine if you have 100 computers to run the same configuration. Here comes the Ansible to the rescue. With Ansible you can configure all 100 computers consistently and efficiently. There are different artifacts of Ansible, together they help in accomplishing the automation task. A basic Ansible environment has three main components, control node. Ansible requires a control node, which is typically your own computer. On this control node, you have Ansible installed, and you run Ansible commands and playbooks from here. Managed node. A remote system, or host, that Ansible controls. Inventory. Ansible starts with an inventory file or script where you list all the machines you want to manage. This file contains information like IP addresses, host names, and SSH, secure shell, keys to access these machines. Apart from these three basic components, Ansible have other useful artifacts as well. They are Playbooks. You create Playbooks, which are files written in a human-readable language called YAML, also known as yet another markup language. Playbooks contain the instructions for tasks you want to perform on the remote machines. These tasks can range from simple things like copying files to complex configurations and software installations.
playbooks are very important component of Ansible, however it is not the basic one. And why? Because, you can run the task without playbooks also using ad hoc commands. We will discuss them in upcoming videos. Next component we have is, modules. Ansible uses modules to perform specific tasks on target systems. Ansible includes a vast library of built-in modules for tasks like package installation, file management, and service control. Users can also create custom modules to extend Ansible's functionality. Plugins. Code written in Python which runs on the control machine to enhance the functionality of Ansible. Roles. Roles let you automatically load related vars, files, tasks, handlers, and other Ansible artifacts based on a known file structure. After you group your content in roles, you can easily reuse them and share them with other users. Ad hoc commands. In addition to playbooks, Ansible allows you to run ad hoc commands from the command line, making it easy to perform quick tasks on remote systems without writing a full playbook. Reporting. Ansible provides feedback on the status of each task, allowing you to see what has been executed successfully and if there were any errors. Let's see a simplified example of an Ansible playbook in YAML format, YAML. In this example, the playbook is named, Install Apache on Web Servers. It specifies that it should run on the group of servers labeled as, Web Servers. The playbook contains one task, which uses Ansible's apt module to install the Apache web server, Apache 2, if it's not already installed. When you run this playbook with Ansible, it will connect to all the servers in the web servers group and ensure that Apache is installed. Please note that indentation is very much important in the YAML file. If there is a problem with indentation, then playbook will give an error. In Ansible, we have some tools to check the playbook's indentation and other errors before running it. We will discuss all these components in details in our upcoming videos. When you run an Ansible playbook or an ad hoc command from the control node, Ansible takes care of connecting to the remote machines, copying the necessary files, and executing the tasks defined in the playbook. Now let's see the use cases of what you can do with Ansible, software installation. Let's say you want to install a web server, like Apache, on multiple servers. With Ansible, you can write a playbook that specifies which servers need Apache installed, and Ansible will do it for you. Configuration Management You can ensure that specific configuration files, e.g., for a database server, are the same on all machines. If you need to change a setting, Ansible can make that change on all systems at once. Network Automation you can use Ansible commands, playbooks and modules to configure hubs, switches, routers, bridges and other network devices. But network modules are different from Linux, Unix and Windows modules, and you must understand some network-specific concepts to succeed. User Management If you need to create or delete user accounts across multiple servers, Ansible can help you do this consistently and efficiently. Updates and Upgrades Ansible can handle system updates or software upgrades on all your servers, ensuring they stay up to date without manual intervention. Perform zero downtime rolling updates. You can perform updates to your systems with zero downtime. Backup. You can automate regular backups of your data or configurations, making sure that critical information is safe and accessible when needed. In summary, Ansible works by defining the desired state of your infrastructure in playbooks then using SSH to remotely connect to your servers and make them match that desired state. It's a powerful automation tool that simplifies configuration management and application deployment in a consistent and efficient way. Ansible has a large and active community, which means you can find plenty of pre-written playbooks and roles to help with common automation tasks. Ansible Galaxy is a repository for sharing and discovering Ansible roles. In essence, Ansible provides a user-friendly and efficient way to automate the provisioning, configuration, and management of IT infrastructure and applications, making it a popular choice for DevOps, system administrators, and anyone looking to streamline repetitive tasks in their IT environment. In this video, we covered what is Ansible, how it works, what are its underlying principles, its various components and its use cases. In the next video we will discuss about Ansible AWX which provides a GUI, 
REST API, and Task Engine for Ansible. Thank you for watching.